Today we're going to be talking about the average 40 time based on your age. Now this is a common question that I get asked, so we're going to be breaking down different age brackets throughout this video and talking about what the average 40 times are. But at the end of this video, you guys, we're also going to give you some tips to improve your 40 yard dash because the 40 is honestly, I feel one of the most misjudged things out there. I feel that the 40 yard dash is insanely technical, especially within the first five yards. So at the end of this video, we're going to be giving you some great tips that you can do to improve your start and improve your stance. Now, with that being said, for ages 9 to 11, you guys, I would probably say your 40 yard dash would be anywhere from like a 6 flat to probably a 5 6. So again, 9 to 11, you guys likely haven't hit puberty yet, so I wouldn't worry too much about the specific time, but I think that's a good gauge to see if your speed is on par for your age, especially if you're a skill position player. Now, if you're a young athlete and you want to speed up your recovery process, especially after working hard in the gym, you need to get on a great protein powder to help you hit your daily protein intake. You should be trying to consume at least one gram of protein per pound of body weight or desired body weight if you're trying to gain weight. So let's say you're 140 pounds, you want to get to 150, try to consume 150 grams of protein a day. But as athletes, you're in school, you have practice, it's hard to get that in because you can't make meals throughout the day. So a protein powder is a great alternative for that. So guys, if you want a great whey protein powder, this is our cookies and cream protein powder at AG Labs. Check out that very first link in the description below. This is some of the best tasting whey protein powder out there. And you could get a 25% off discount if you use the promo code code first 25 F I R S T two five at checkout. So again, guys, very first link in that description below. We have four other flavors as well as our cookies and cream flavor. Now the next age bracket is going to be ages 12 to 13. So generally this is when the 40 yard dash maybe starts to matter a little bit more for you skill position type players. And I would say anywhere between a five, six 40 and a five, three 40 yard dash is probably a good gauge for you. You know, I say the 40 starts to matter a little bit more because you know, you're getting ready to enter high school. You're obviously probably playing tackle football and they're going to test you. You're going to have certain combines, maybe a tryout, whatever, and they're going to use the 40-yard dash. Do I agree with that as the optimal test for speed and explosiveness in football? Probably not, but again, you need to know where you're at. So if that's the time that you're clocking in, you probably have a good time for a skill player. Now let's talk about ages 14 to 15. So that's probably eighth grade, just now entering high school, or maybe some of you sophomores in high school. So I would say you probably have to be at a five flat 40 or a four eight 40-yard dash. I think that's generally a good gauge for you just because, um, you know, you're entering high school football, you got Guys, you're starting to play with a lot of dudes who are, you know, physically gifted, naturally gifted, maybe necessarily don't even like work as hard as you do, but that's where your speed ultimately, I would say, needs to be if you're a skill player. Now, before we get into some tips to improve your 40 yard dash start, if you are ages 16 and above, I would say your 40 yard dash probably should be a 4 7 or below. This is, again, if you're a skill position player, if you're an offensive lineman, defensive lineman, linebacker, probably not a 4 7. That's totally fine. That's not the end of the world, you guys. Again, the 40 yard dash is not everything, but if you're a skill player, or receiver, DB, running back, safety. I would say probably a 4-7 or below, especially when you're 16, because that means you're a varsity level football player. And especially if you want to play at the next level, that's generally where they expect your 40 yard dash or your speed to be. Now we're going to be giving you a great stance and a couple of tips to help your start to make your 40 yard dash improve. A lot of guys, what they'll do is when they run their 40 yard dash, they have no real technique in terms of their stance or no real setup approach. They just bend down, stand up. And as soon as they take off and run you guys, they stand straight up. Guys, for the first about five to 10 yards of the 40 yard dash, we are not trying to run fast. We are trying to run explosive and run powerful. You want powerful long strides. You want powerful arm drive. They call that the drive phase because for the first 10 yards, you want to be explosive. So it sets you up for the remaining 30 yards. So you can hit that finish line at top speed, because if you just stand up and try to run as fast as you can, you will eventually gas out. That's just the way anybody's body works. So let's talk about the stance. So let's say right here is the start line. You're going to start out with your toes together on the line. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your left foot. You're going to step behind where your toes are even with your right heel. Then what you're going to do is you're going to do that same type of step again with your right foot to where your right foot's even with your left heel. Then you are going to kick out with your toe kick forward, and then you are going to bring your knee directly to the middle part of your foot. Then all you're going to do is you're going to have your hands on the white line, and you're going to get up into your stance. Now, when you get up into your stance, you want to maintain a 45 degree angle with your shins. They call that a positive shin angle. Positive shin angle, you're going to have your arm not weighed up in the air, because usually on the 40 yard dash, especially if it's a laser time, and you're way up like this, they count that first movement as a part of your time and when they start that laser. So you guys want to have your hand holstered, and you want to be as powerful as you can. Now, again, for the first five yards. Powerful strides, powerful arms to set you up on that drive face. So you can hit top speed through the finish. 